and production block started. You can see here behind me a lot of clothing hanging to dry, but that's story for another time. You can see we're in the almost the same hotel room with the same view if you've seen it last time. Either case, uh, it's very, very early in the morning and we have to go. We're going to take the car to Dongguang. I'm hoping it's something that's related to coffee. And I'm really psyched about it. <laughs> Are we doing unboxing videos now, or is this? Uh, yeah, yeah. This thing? this is definitely an unboxing video. That's it. Oh, okay. That's it. So what is this, you? It's coffee grinder. Right Hopefully, one that doesn't break after your first time you use it. arrived at the test machine factory or if you watched the live stream yesterday got the name Coke Hanger version 2. Now, if you didn't see the stream then this factory basically made the machine that's going to test our keyboards on the analog range per step so we have a better quality control. Now you might be thinking it's a big factory but let's go take a look. Sometimes factories in China and in Taiwan can be as small as just a house. Because here we go inside. And this here, this here is the machine that's going to test the keyboard. And as you can see, Yuun is operating it now. And, well, okay, it's not set right right now, but yeah. it's, making, it's making very small increments right now of 0 0.1 millimeter. You hear that click every time Yuun is clicking here? 0.1 millimeter down. Yeah, but that's going to be automated, obviously. <laughs> We're not going to have someone click 40 times for every keyboard. We arrived at Dongguang's shopping area, uh, but we need to get some components for the machine, and we're going to need some breakfast finally. And what kind of phone do we actually need? To control the machine, there are some. There's like a serial port connection, and that's like 24 volts, which is too high for my computer. So you don't want to blow it up. So we need to convert it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that component. So this is the electronic area. And as you can see, there's a lot of small vendors of all different kinds of um, components. You can, you can get buttons and switches. And all different kind of little components. We got the components we needed, and now we're heading to Burger King for breakfast finally. Or it's like lunch now, but that's okay. So at the machine manufacturer, they already have this PCP which will convert like a machine signal to a signal more suitable for my PC so my laptop won't blow up when I use it. And it was empty though. So we, did, we went to the, oh, to the store and bought some components. And now we're going to solder them and see what works. So in China you have these uh, Mo bikes, which are basically public bicycles that you can just take and ride anywhere you want and you can lock it and park it anywhere you want. So this is a Bluetooth lock. You have a uh, mobile app, you scan this QR code and then you can unlock this lock here and then you can use it and uh, you can cycle anywhere you want and then you can lock the bike again and uh, scan it again I guess and then it will know how long you used it and that's what you're gonna pay for. Now the interesting thing though about this bike is look at the tires. It's, very, it's a low maintenance tire because it's all made from rubber. We're already back at the little factory. You can solder on the little pieces so it can work with this laptop. So now the machine is working, but we're trying to figure out how we can make the machine a bit faster in the whole testing procedure so that during the assembly line it doesn't take a very long time for the keyboard for uh, it to be tested. And that's taking some while because um, engineer stuff I'm not too familiar with. But let's go inside and take a look how things are going.
Okay, so we're at the end of the day and the full setup for the machine is done. We got all the electronics earlier and they work. And this night we're working on the, on the control as well. And let me give you a small demonstration. We have this big green button here. And then the machine presses all the way like right on top of the key. So that's like the zero point for the measurement. And then I press start right here. And now you can sort of hear it. Maybe you can hear it, I don't know. It sounds like a printer and it makes these very, very, very slight steps of 0.1 millimeter. And that's how we can get a very accurate measurement. measurement. And once it's done, it will calculate the distance. Then we get an awesome analog keyboard. Welcome to our temporary hotel room. There's Jeroen chilling out. Of course, they have yellow lights here, like extreme yellow lights. Here I'm making the vlog. And this is the last sequence. Now it's time for bed. Tomorrow we're heading back to Jiaoqing, to the factory. And we'll see what we're going to do then. I'm not sure yet, so good night.